Hey guys, what's up? This is Felix bringing you yet another episode of Tested. This time we will have a look at how to delete an account in GnuCache. Now while deleting may seem quite easy, you select your account and select delete. What you want to do is possibly save your transactions from your checkings account, from your checking account. Now for this you have two options. Option one is to move your account to another account. And this is what I did when I recently changed my bank and had to delete the account on in one bank and open one in another. So what I did is I created another first hierarchy account in GnuCache. And for doing that you go to new and you select new top level account. Account type bank is okay and the account name is closed accounts and by the way I found this in the internet I think it was stack overflow I can't remember quite where where exactly it was so keep in mind you can also search the internet but I want to free you some time and that's why I'm making this video. Okay, we're creating the new account named closed accounts. This is a new top level account. Press OK. And now at the bottom of our accounts we should have or is it at the top, which is also OK, we have our closed accounts. And for moving your checking account, your current checking account, to a closed account, you need to create another account in your closed accounts account. And yeah, for that you click on your closed accounts, click new, and type in the, the name. This is the old checking account. We are going to call this and Parent account is closed account and account type is bank. That's fine. Press OK. Now we have our old checking account here. And when we open a new account at another bank, we also have to create a new account here in GnuCash. So we go to current assets, create a new account for our new checking account and we name that new checking account parent account is current asset and account type is asset okay this is our new checking account here and now we can transfer our total of about eight thousand dollars from our old checking account to our new checking account. Now probably that's what you're also going to do in the real bank account thing. You have your old and new account and of course the new account should have your $8,000. So we make a transaction um, changing banks or bank accounts and we transfer this to our new checking account and say withdraw is 7910 and that's today or maybe yeah let's let's say it's January's because then it will appear at the bottom here okay now our new checking account has gotten our $8,000. Our old checking account is at zero and we can save that and confirm that the new checking account has our 8,000. That's fine. And now we can transfer or move our old checking account to the closed accounts uh, account. So you go to right click, delete account, and then we say move to. Now, 
what we see here is the accounts you can move the current account you're on to and we will move that to closed accounts or checking account and say delete we have to confirm that delete now old checking account has disappeared from the current assets and is in here in the newly created old checking account okay this is quite handy because now you've got your closed accounts all um, yeah all in one account and not in your assets account anymore which I find is quite cool and on top of that you have saved all your transactions and that's what at least I want to do is maybe two years later you want to see where have you bought the meat or when did that paycheck arrive or whatever and you can go to your transactions and search for that okay that's option number one now second option what you can do is you can hide your account and if you want to do that you go on your account say right click you did your account and then you press hidden and when pressing OK your new checking account is now hidden now what's uh, yeah a disadvantage of this method is that now um, well, what is a disadvantage yeah now your current assets show uh, the eight thousand dollars but your hidden account is dis uh, has disappeared so yeah I don't like it that much but you could do it because your closed account should be at a total of zero so most likely it won't uh, affect your your assets total but yeah that's just a disadvantage of this method and if you want to see your hidden account again you go to view filter by select other and show hidden accounts and now when checking the hidden show hidden accounts your new checking account reappears okay and we can uh, uncheck it okay that's it so yeah as I said you have two methods for or let's say you have three methods if you want to delete a new cash account first method is you delete it and you delete your history so that's the simplest of all um, with a disadvantage that you have lost your history of transactions from that account uh, second method is you can hide your account so the account won't show up in your in your account hierarchy um, but the total uh, will be summed up nevertheless and the third option which I prefer is you create a new parent account named closed accounts and you can differ here if you like to and in that closed accounts account you create your old checking account old savings account and transfer your transactions by deleting and saying move to to your new uh, to your newly created but old uh, closed account here okay that's it for today if you like it give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it a lot or leave a comment um, yeah and we'll see you hopefully next time bye